Hey everyone, so this just arrived earlier today. It spent the last few hours in a uh, WD-40 bath trying to clean up some of the rust and junk. This is uh, rather old. Uh, if you can make it out, this reads, Manufactured by the Corbin Cabinet Lock Company, New Britain, Connecticut, United States. Patent number 1,849,775. Lubricate with graphite. And it's got a couple of other cool little stamps on here. Uh, up here on the shackle, you can just make it out through the rust, it says hardened. So this was a hardened steel shackle, uh, but it seems to be a brass body. And right here, nice, big, and very, very clear compared to everything else, is the uh, United States Army Ordnance Department. A uh, very impressive little bit of history, and it's got this nice chain and big thick hook on it, uh, but it's all pretty heavily rusted. and has this uh, weatherproof cap, which has a nice little uh, detent lock feature on it. And it does have a uh, key number embossed right here, if we can get it to focus. There we go. It reads D830, as best I can make out, but I don't have a key for this, so what I am going to do because I keep accidentally locking this thing up uh, when I try to clean it, is we're going to try to pick into it. Now this has a kind of an interesting keyway. Hopefully you can just about make it out there. It goes uh, right, up, left, up, right, up. Uh, so it is pretty tricky. It gets uh, tough to maneuver a pick in there. but because we really can't use the bottom of the keyway, we're going to use bottom of the keyway tension, or edge of the keyway tension for a change. And we're going to use our uh, Peterson 18 thousandths uh, hook pick. And we're going to reach in there, and we're going to go all the way to the back, because I keep having trouble with number four. Okay, that's number five, I think. Uh... Okay, number four is sticking. There we go. And number three is moving around fine. I think number two is... wait... number two is binding. Okay, no. That's number one. It's moving, actually. That's either number two or three that we're lifting up right now. We're getting some tension. Oh, okay, keep moving back. Not getting any of the clicks that we should be. Now these are surprisingly tricky. Despite how old they are, they do very definitely have spool pins, although it could always be pins that have corroded into spools over time or something, but we're going to just keep feeling around and in fact this is one of the few cases where you do have a lock that acts like it has security pins but you really don't want a false set because when you get a false set all it's going to do is lock up on you and then you're screwed. You gotta start all over again. And really this is just becoming a sort of random game of feeling around because I'm not getting any clear or consistent uh, binding order on this. Oh, look at that. Just as I say it, we've got an open. So, cool old padlock. Yeah, it's rusted up and everything, but I'm going to try to clean that up a bit, and I'll definitely make that a little display piece, or maybe hand it off to one of the uh, historical military collectors that I know. But uh, until next time, have fun, stay safe, stay legal, and happy picking.